Should she get a flu shot? Well, no. If she got the flu for 14 days, she's as protected as anybody can be because the best vaccination is to get infected yourself. And so she if, not she get it? if she really has the flu, if she really has the flu, she definitely doesn't need a flu vaccine. Next, if she really has the flu, she right. should not get it again. No, she week. doesn't need it because the, it, it's the be, it's the most potent vaccination is getting infected yourself. This is an ongoing question, and you know we've had ever evolving opinions from you, Dr. Fauci. Currently, antibody surveys show that 80% uh, of children, approximately 80% of children, have had COVID, and yet there are no guidelines coming from you or anybody in the government to take into account their naturally acquired immunity. You seemed quite certain of yourself in 2004, but in 2022, there's a lot less certainty. One of the things that we also know after looking at this for two to three years uh, is that the mortality uh, from COVID is very similar, if not less, than, than influenza. So when we look at this, we wonder, you know, why you seem to really embrace basic immunology back in 2004 and how you or why you seem to reject it now. Well, <clears throat> I don't uh, reject basic immunology, Senator, and I have never denied that there is importance of the protection following infection. However, as we have said many times, and as has been validated by the authorization of the, by the FDA through their committee and the recommendation by the CDC through their committee, that a vaccination following infection gives an added extra boost. And that film that you showed is really taken out of context. I believe that was when someone called in who had had a reaction to a vaccine and asked me through a telephone in the interview if they should get vaccinated again. So it was in the context of someone who had a reaction. And as a matter of fact, Reuters fact check looked at that and said, Fauci's 2004 comments do not contradict his pandemic actually, stance. Actually, words don't lie. If you look at the words behind me, we can go over them a little bit at a time. She doesn't need it because the most potent vaccination right. is getting infected yourself. It so is true. It is true, Senator. It is a very potent way to protect. So when you're trying to tell us that kids need a third or a fourth vaccine, are you including the variability or the variable of previous infection in the studies? No, you're not. Because when you have approved vaccines in recent times and the committees that have approved it for children don't report anything on right. hospitalization or death or transmission. Right. They only report that if you give them the jab, they'll make antibodies. And you can give kids hundreds of jabs and they'll make antibodies every time, but that does not prove efficacy. Right. So what you're doing is denying the very fundamental premise of immunology that previous infection does provide some sort of immunity. It's not in any of your studies. Almost none of your studies from the CDC or from the government have the variable of whether or not you've been previously infected. So let's look at adults. I've had three infections. Should I get a fourth one? If you're going to measure whether I get a fourth one, you need a, a, a category that has a fourth one in it and you need one that has nothing in it, no vaccine or the fourth vaccine. But you also need to know whether they've been infected. If you ignore whether they've been infected, you're ignoring a vaccine, basically. So you're ignoring a variable. So what you're giving us is this, the, you decry, and people decry vaccine hesitancy. It's coming from the gobbledygook that you give us. You're not paying attention right. to the science. The very basic science is that previous infection provides a level of immunity. If you ignore that in your studies, if you don't present that in your committees, you're not being truthful or honest with us. Uh, Senator, if I might respond, I have never ever denied fundamental immunology. In fact, I wrote the chapter in the textbook of medicine Is it any on the, fundamental any, any of the guidelines, immunology. Any of the guidelines for vaccines, you know, do any of the guidelines for vaccines from the government include previous infection as something to base your decision making on with vaccines? Do uh, any of the guidelines involve previous infection? That's why you're ignoring previous right. infection, because it doesn't involve any of the guidelines. And furthermore, 
We've been asking you, and you refuse to answer, whether anybody on the vaccine committees gets royalties from the pharmaceutical companies. I asked you last time, and what was your response? We don't have to tell you. Right. We've demanded them through Freedom of Information Act, and what have you said? We're not going to tell you. But I tell you this, when we get in charge, we're going to change the rules, and you will have to divulge where you get your royalties from, from what companies, and if anybody on the committee has a conflict of interest, we're going to learn about it. I promise you that. Uh, Mr. Chair, can I, can I respond to that, please? Okay. okay, there are two aspects for what you said. You keep saying you approve, you do this, you do that. The committees that give the approval are FDA through their advisory committee. The committees that recommend are CDC through their advisory committee. And you keep saying, I'm the one that's approving a vaccine based on certain data. So I don't really understand, with all due respect, Senator. You're the and one I have, that said you would not no. reveal, you would not reveal what companies well, well, gave, you the, gave you royalties or what company gave the other scientists royalties. You gotta move That's on. you told oh, the committee. Senator Paul, so, you sir, gotta move I, on. Could, could I please answer that? Briefly, you yes. keep asking committees, they're not my committees. They're the VERPAC committee for the FDA and the ACIP for the CDC. So I don't have any idea what goes on. And they with won't the re reveal, as well as you, won't reveal okay, what we're gonna we're going to move on. We're over time. Senator Paul, you're over. Everyone is over a little bit. I just want to make sure we keep on time here. For the record, I know Chair Murray and previous chairs of this committee of both parties, both parties, have found videos to be out of order. And I will note for the record, the video is out of order. We'll move to Senator Smith. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.